Hey guys, Space Pigu here, and welcome to my first ever drawing video. So, um, this should be exciting. Here I'm just quickly sketching in a head and a nice S curve to try and figure out how I want the body to be positioned, which is quite forward. And I will apologise right now, you can see my hair in the way of the camera. I'm used to working very close to my page, just because I find it easier to focus on all the little details, so that happens quite a lot. I'll try and work on this for the future, but for now I'm afraid it's just going to have to happen. Uh, but here I'm just sketching in the body very lightly over the top so I have an idea of where I want everything to go. Uh, I'm really just copying up some sketches I'd already done at this point, which I might cut in at some point, but I probably won't. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I already had an idea of how I wanted everything to be like composed and put together, and also of the actual design. So here I'm just kind of copying that up, and yeah, as you can see she's quite quite an old-fashioned looking character with the big hair and the, the really tight corset and, you know, puffy sleeves and all of that, and big dress. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm calling her the Bride in Pink, which you can probably tell from the title. I hope I've titled this reasonably well. Um, originally my thought was along the lines of the mischievous bride or something of that nature, because of the way that her face ended up looking, which is quite like, quite a cheeky expression, like she's thinking of doing something unexpected or something, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I, I quite like that as a name, but I ended up, ended up going with the bride in pink, because I realised that with that amount of pink there would have to be some sort of explanation for it. And there I'm just fixing up the camera, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just adding some, I guess, ornaments into her hair at this point. Uh, some roses and some, I guess, beads, I was thinking. <laughs> I'm not even sure, but um, I like the idea of having a very, a very extravagant headpiece, because I was thinking along the lines of the very old-fashioned powdered wigs for this, so I think that came out quite nice. Here I, I started outlining it in graphite pencil, but then I decided I would just line it properly, so I'm using the Le Pen drawing pens. This one is, I think I use 0 0.1 as my thickness, and again my head keeps getting in the way because I get too close to the paper for the details, but um, you can just about see that I'm outlining a rose here, and I'm just slowly, <laughs> slowly working my way through all of the line art. So yeah, unfortunately there are parts of this that you just don't get to see because I need to work on my camera work, <laughs> and I need to work on not getting my head in frame, but um, hopefully that'll come with time. Um, yeah, and it's difficult to refilm drawing videos because I've already drawn it and I don't want to redo it, <laughs> but um, yeah. So here I'm just just doing all of the line art for the hair, and I, I really wish you could see this, because I'm sure it's quite interesting to watch, but um, I'm just roughly doing the roses to try and make them look like roses, and then all of these tiny little beads that I decided to draw in, even though this is only a rough, <laughs> this isn't even the, the version that I end up drawing on, which is why some of the lines are quite quick and a little bit messy. But um, yeah, but because I'm copying this up onto Pro Marker marker paper, I don't really need to be doing this. In fact, I don't even line this properly when I do copy up the sketch to draw or to color over rather. So um, really, this was a needless, needlessly complicated thing for me to do to myself. But um, it still looks quite nice, and I quite like the original sketch and how it turned out. So um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, still, still drawing these tiny beads, still, still going. And I think, I think I'm done now. I think I'm just finishing off the hair, though I can't see either. <laughs> so uh, I have to guess a bit there. And now I'm just doing these eyes that I don't think end up looking too mischievous here. No, she looks quite, quite demure, in fact. But um, no, she does end up looking a lot more mischievous in the in the, the actual finished piece, trust me. Um, but yeah, so here I'm just just inking in the rest of the dress, getting getting the shape of the flowers in, although 
as you will see momentarily, I just write roses with a little exclamation mark in place of actually filling them all in, because I figured I could just do that later and it would be a bit of a waste of time to do it now. So um, yeah, and I'm just doing the skirt piece, adding in all of the little frills that I wanted around the edges. Um, yeah, this is where I go out of frame as well, because I'm just not not good at this whole camera work and trying to get everything in frame thing, but uh, hopefully I realise soonish, or maybe I don't realise, maybe I just pick it up and show you at the end. <laughs> yeah, no, I just try and pick it up and show you what I've done. Yeah, so there you've got a very quick look at the bottom of the skirt. But yeah, and now I'm just going to try and figure out which is the right side of the paper, because I currently just have a stack of it. Well, I say a stack, a couple sheets left, but um, yeah, if you if you do a tiny scribble of um, of blender marker in the corner of paper, if it's one-sided, then you can usually figure out from that which way around it should be, especially with the pro marker paper, because it goes a lot more transparent on one page, so that's good. Uh, here I'm just using hairpins, or bobby pins I guess, to hold my paper in place, and I decided that I wanted her to be more central on this page as well, so I use them sideways on one side to help me keep it in place while I'm copying it up. And I've skipped out the copying part because I just had my head in the way the entire time, and it was completely pointless, <laughs> but um, yeah. Here I'm just doing some quick swatches. Um, I'll tell you the colours in the second part of this video where I will in fact be colouring it because um, I'm actually getting quite close to the end and I need to say all of my, oh, well I say all of my, some of my goodbyes and whatnot. So um, I really hope that everyone enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you enjoy this, this quick swatching part of the video because I don't often see people doing this but I thought it would be nice to see the, see the process. So um, yeah. Here is just a very quick look at me swatching some colours, but uh, yeah, so I, I hope you've really enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you'll be interested in seeing the colouring of this picture, and I will see you at that point. Yeah, I've actually ended a little bit early, so I'll just ramble for a minute. Um, yeah, I, yeah, have a nice day. Enjoy. <laughs> do, do fun things. Yeah, bye.